meteorologist Grant Skinner with your first alert storm team forecast. We'll start with the tropics still watching that one area in the central Atlantic making its way to the north and west closer to the lesser and greater Antilles. We could still see some slow development as it slowly makes its way in that direction. Right now it does not pose a threat to the news five viewing area, but we're keeping our eyes on this system again moving towards the lesser and greater Antilles and the Bahamas and again this track kind of pushing it to the north and west. Not a threat to the News 5 viewing area. We'll have all the latest updates of course on air on, and on WKRG.com. The big story for us, for, especially for this week, will be the heat. It's going to get even hotter throughout the course of the work week. Already have a heat advisory in place for our western counties for Monday from noon till 7 p.m. Washington, Mobile, George and Green counties included in this. Heat index values could get as high as 109 degrees. And with a lot of moisture in place and hotter temperatures on the way, we'll see those forecast heat index values getting well over 100 degrees. See 109 Monday, upper 100s for Tuesday as well. Then Wednesday at 109 once again with a high of 95 degrees by Wednesday and staying hot through the back half of the work week. So make sure to drink plenty of water, take breaks in the AC when you can, especially if you uh, plan to spend time outdoors. We still have this boundary that's draped over the News 5 viewing area that's brought the lift for showers and storms to develop. We'll see that not as prominent throughout this week, so storms will be a bit more isolated. Still a lot of moisture, though. It's going to be hot, but again, more like isolated showers and storms like we typically see during the, the summertime. You can see radar right now, a couple of showers still left over, southern parts of Mobile, uh, Baldwin County, excuse me, and one just moved over parts of Midtown Mobile and also over downtown. You see the outflow boundary moving to the south. Could have a few more brief showers pop up in southern Mobile County as that moves south and a couple of showers in western portions of Escambia County, Alabama. But again, a 40% chance to be the Green and Phillips umbrella into tomorrow. More storms possible throughout the day. And here's how it looks on the News 5 predictor. This evening, we could have a couple of isolated showers that move through our northern spots, like in Washington, Clark, Monroe counties. Late this evening, those will wind down by early tomorrow. Then, by the time we start tomorrow morning, things should be pretty quiet. But then as the morning progresses, progresses these isolated showers and storms will start to pop up. And then by the afternoon, an even wider coverage of showers and storms. See, by 6, 7 o'clock, still some storms lingering in the eastern half of the News 5 viewing area. So just keep the rain gear handy throughout the day tomorrow. Like we said, the past several days with this summer like pattern continuing, we'll have isolated storms possible each day. Slightly lower rain chances for Thursday and Friday. It's going to be quite hot on those days. Then we'll have a front that dives south that'll bring some higher rain chances to end the next weekend, which means temperatures will be a bit more comfortable by then. And by comfortable, I mean just more seasonable. It's still going to be humid and hot. Look outside from our WKRG News 5 camera, some scattered cloud cover after some showers just moved through there. Pensacola UD fiber camera, so some scattered cloud cover outside there as well. We got some wasps as well, enjoying the heat and the humidity. Temperature at 85 degrees right now, feels like 91. It definitely feels hot outside. Current temperatures mid to upper 80, some spots a bit cooler thanks to the rain. It's going to be a hot week ahead. Highs staying in the mid 90s from Wednesday all the way through Saturday. We'll have isolated storms possible each day. It's more of that summer like pattern. But remember, with that summer like pattern does come heat index values reaching well over 100 degrees. So be very careful out there. Drink plenty of water at the beaches. We'll keep a low risk for rip currents. If you plan to enjoy some of the heat, if you like to be down to the beach and we'll have some breaks with some sunshine, rip current risk will stay low, which is good.